Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So recently I uploaded this recipe of chicken and cheese bread which is super delicious and just so soft and so many of you guys wanted the recipe on my YouTube channel. It's actually super easy to make. Also this recipe actually serves five to six people. I'm having the last slice just now. I saved it up for myself because I really wanted this for my suhoor. So now if you want the recipe keep watching and enjoy. So for the dough of the bread you need to mix some warm water, about two tablespoons, with one spoon sugar and one spoon yeast. Let it sit for a minute. Now mix it well and add half a spoon salt. One full egg goes into it as well. And we need some warm milk which I'm gonna add next. Before we add the milk we need at least one tablespoon oil. Again, mix it well and now grab your warm milk and start adding it slowly and keep mix mixing the dough. Guys, this process you cannot do with a spoon so you have to knead the dough properly with your hands for at least the next 45 minutes and then let it sit for at least an hour and let it rise. You can also use the same dough for a pizza base, by the way, it comes out really fluffy and really nice. Next, I just wet my hands with some oil and pressed it like this just to make the dough a little soft. And now I'm going to cover it and let it sit for one hour, let it rise nicely. Until then, let's move towards our filling. The dough is rising nicely, we're just going to let it sit. For the filling, now you need one and a half cup shredded boiled chicken, one cup milk, one egg and seeds. Any seeds you have, this is just for the glazing. You need two tablespoons flour. You need one spoon oil. I've used sesame seed oil because I really love the taste of it. Then you need two green chilies. These are sliced or chopped, whatever. And then we have dhania, which is coriander, two tablespoons. We have one chopped onion, medium sized onion. Now for the masalas, you need half a spoon salt, half spoon red chili flakes, one spoon garam masala. I will also write down the ingredients in the description so you know. You're gonna melt the butter and then saute your onions. They don't need to get dark brown. You're just gonna saute them really, really slightly. And now you're gonna add your flour into the mixture and now cook this mixture for a minute. Now you're gonna keep adding some milk gradually and keep cooking this mixture. It's gonna become a really nice thick mixture. And also, please cook this on medium to low heat so that it doesn't burn or anything, you know. The mixture looks thick, I just added my spices and now we are going to add our chicken and keep cooking it. I'm so sorry for this foggy screen. Alright, I kept cooking this mixture for a good 4-5 minutes. Now we're gonna just add the green chilies, the coriander and also guys, at this stage, if you actually add some ketchup, mine is almost finished. All right, I managed to squeeze out a little bit. So you just need to add two spoons, two teaspoons ketchup. And honestly, it's gonna make your mixture really, really, really delicious. And now we're gonna just let this mixture cool and now let's get back to the bread. The dough looks great. Now we're gonna shape our bread. I'm just gonna knead it just a little bit more and then roll it into a square. No, actually a rectangle. I'll show you guys in a minute. So I have already rolled out the bread now into this oval rectangular shape. The more rectangular it is going to be, the better it actually is. And it is going to be a half, half a centimeter thick. You don't want it too thick, otherwise the bread comes out way too much, which I don't like. And now what you want to do is just add your chicken material that you prepared just in the middle. Once that's done, I'm just gonna add some grated cheddar cheese, which I got from Asda or Tesco, I can't even remember, but we're just gonna add some cheese on top. This smells so delicious and I'm literally fasting at the moment, I just cannot stop myself. Now in order to shape our bread, we're gonna just make these small cuts on both sides. Once you cut it from both sides, you're just gonna try and shape it like this, which I'm not really very good at, but we're gonna try. Okay, this is how it came out like. It's not perfect, but you know what? It will do. And now if you have a brush, just brush some egg on top of this bread and then sprinkle some seeds on top. And this is gonna be the glazing. 
Now I'm going to sprinkle my seeds and also the oven is already preheating at the moment. So you're going to preheat your oven at 250 degrees Celsius. Mine is a fan oven, but you're going to bake this for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to let this bake for 15 to 20 minutes and let's see how it comes out this time. So it took 20 minutes, it came out of the oven, this is how it looks like. I'm going to wait for it to cool down a little bit and then cut it. Do you see the cheese there? Mm. Oh my god, this looks super soft. And that cheese, oh my god. Guys, the filling is really, really yummy. If you make it just like I showed you guys, you're gonna love this. Enjoy!